Hey everyone, do you want to know one of the most important techniques when you're manifesting a specific person or money or anything in your life? If so, this video is for you. Before I dive in, my name's Megan. I'm a manifestation coach who's been helping people for so many years, lots and lots of years, and thousands of people with thousands of success stories. If you guys are interested in working with me, check out the description in the link below. I'd love to help you. Okay, so again, as always, I am somebody who's going to really focus on you shifting who you are in a different way that hopefully you've never heard it before, okay? So everybody is, you know, is mirroring back to us, okay? How we feel about ourselves in relation to them. So what I've been noticing a lot of people doing, um, and this is what we need to stop, so you need to think about this as well. And if you wanna to work together, again, this is what we're going to get through with these, um, these coaching sessions, really getting to the core of what are your subconscious beliefs that are happening, okay? And if you've never been in a healthy relationship or never had some of these things, you can also create them in your life just because you've never had them before, just because there's a distance between you and this person, just because this happened in the past does not matter. You can get anybody you want, you can have everything, anything you want, you can create the money, love, abundance, career, anything you want, but the thing to get that is this technique, is clarity. Okay. The first thing is being completely clear on what you want. I know that sounds so simplistic, but you really need to figure out what you want in your reality. What does that look like? It's usually an experience that you're going after. So what is the experience that you want to have with this? Getting clarity and reminding yourself if nothing else existed and I could just have this in my reality, there's no rules, there's no history. I don't think that I'm selfish. I don't think I'm asking too much. What do I want? Okay, so that's our first thing is having that clarity of that, all right, giving yourself, well, you have to give yourself permission and then get into giving yourself some clarity of what do I want. So if you don't have your specific person and it's an unhealthy relationship and you guys don't communicate, maybe you want a relationship where the both of you are growing into this um, evolved couple that can communicate well, okay? Um, or maybe, again, it's to be married, but we wanna get a little bit more specific about what that experience would be like, okay? Would you want to feel loved, adored, pampered, um, and like your person understood you? You really wanna to get to the clarity of what you want, all right? And the second thing that I think is super important, and I've there's a saying, and I'm gonna look at this, and I might mess it up a little bit, but there's a saying that says, don't worry about losing others. Worry about losing yourself by pleasing other people. And this is such a big thing. Now, I'm not saying you're going to lose your specific person. By no means am I saying that. What I'm saying is so many people are trying to conform to be what they think that their person wants, okay? They're trying to change themselves to be loved by their specific person. They're trying so hard in any sort of way and they're comparing themselves to other people and they're, they're walking on eggshells. I mean, this could be a lot of you, playing that nice person syndrome, giving in, um, giving more than you're receiving, not having a mutual relationship, and then automatically like acting upset. You then maybe act upset and then beat yourself up for having those feelings. So what we wanna do is really learn for the manifestation technique is to be authentic to ourselves. So again, with that clarity, start figuring out what you want and stop losing yourself, okay? Stop losing who you are for other people. You do not have to change for anybody. Nobody should ask you to do this, all right? You, most people, are, again, are wanting to, there's nothing wrong with, let's say, you wanna get your hair done or get your nails done or exercise. There's nothing wrong with that as long as it's for you, okay? But if you're doing it because you think your specific person wants that from you, and if you're, then you wanna stop doing that. Okay, because that is coming from a place of earning love. That's coming from a place of losing yourself. That's coming from a place of putting someone ahead of you versus you being the star of the show. So again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong. I mean, I love getting my hair done. Um, you know, I love shopping. I love working out. I love all those things. But you know, I do that for me because it makes me feel good. I'm not doing it for my specific person. I'm doing it for me. Okay, so ask yourself that. Um, you know, a long time ago, I did like try to change myself for other people, but you know, the problem with that and is you're not being authentic to yourself. So if you don't know yourself, 
you know, and you're not being authentic to yourself, you're not giving yourself permission to be loved unconditionally. You know why? Because you're not loving yourself unconditionally. All right. And if everybody's a mirror and they're mirroring it back to you, if you're not loving yourself, then they're not going to love you back. Now, it's more than just saying, I love myself. I love myself. That is a very surface level thing. Okay. I'm not intending that's what's happening for all you guys. That's not my intention for this message. It's more a subconscious thing. Like I said, thinking, oh my gosh, if I don't do this, they might leave me. Okay. If I don't act this way, then I, if I voice my um, opinion, if I speak up, if I tell them I don't want to do this, if I tell them they're hurting my feelings, you know, what's going to happen? All right. It's those things. So all of a sudden people are conforming into a different version of themselves for somebody because they are so afraid of losing that person. So they're not even being authentic. So the number one thing besides the clarity is being authentic to who you are and unapologetic for who you are. Learning to really sit with your flaws that you think are flaws and actually changing them into great qualities. Your talk, that self-talk all day long is being manifested out to other people and they're overhearing it. Okay, so you need to start talking nicely about yourself and you need to stop losing yourself and thinking you need to change for other people. If you think you're not their type, then change it that you are their type. Again, you need to start inflating yourself, okay? And start seeing the positive things that you bring to the relationship and stop losing who you are. Stop losing losing your authenticity. Stop thinking people aren't gonna like you because you're this way or they're gonna think you're cringe or they're gonna think you're weird or they're gonna think you're too much, okay? Those thoughts, those subconscious beliefs you have about yourself is what's happening in your reality because you think this about yourself, right? Then your specific person's going to mirror that back. Or, and I say specific person, that could be anybody. That doesn't have to be a loved one. That could be a boss. It could be a relative. It could be a parent. It could be a sibling. It could be a friend. It could be a coworker. It could be a child. It can come in any sort of thing when I'm using SP. It doesn't always have to be a love relationship. All right, so again, are you losing yourself in these things to please other people? Are you doing things that you don't normally would do because number one, you think that you're gonna lose them? And number two, then the manifestation community says, well, you created it. So then all of a sudden you think that you need to start like deserving these breadcrumbs because you created it? No, that's that's not how this works, okay? That's not what I want you to take away from the message. I want you to love yourself unconditionally, accept yourself unconditionally. Stop that harsh judgment of yourself. Stop holding yourself to this perfection because it's going to be pushed out to other people. And you're, since it's a mirror, it's going to be reflected back to you based on those assumptions. Secondly, if you think that someone's more important than you and you're changing yourself to be loved by them, okay, then you're not being authentic to yourself. You're think, you're doing things that you don't want to do to earn love, okay? So you want to learn and these things and be safe to express these things. And this all starts within by you internally talking yourself through these things, by use of you giving yourself clarity and permission to think these things. Because again, everybody's just a mirror to what your assumptions are going on internally. Okay, so you do not need to accept breadcrumbs. You do not need to change for anybody. They can change for you. I mean, start having this attitude. I want you to start embodying your strength, how amazing you are, and realizing that this is just how the law works. It's what you're saying all day about yourself from the subconscious level, your beliefs about yourself in relation to that is going to be manifested out. And one area is people, you know, trying to change themselves and losing themselves and keeping their mouth shut and, and allowing themselves to be treated poorly because, you know, they're, they're afraid. They're afraid to lose their person, right? And I'm going to tell you from a manifestation level, that's not true. You're not going to. The more authentic you are, the more you love yourself, you're going to attract different versions of people in, okay? Because they are just a mirror to you. So again, I want you just to start thinking, am I choosing this person above me? Am I losing myself in this? Am I dimming my shine? And if that's the case, let's change that because remember, they're just an actor in your reality because you're the only one that can consciously create. So you can actually feed them the script. All right. You can give them the new lines. Hey, they love everything about me. They think I'm amazing. All right. And you don't have to change anything about yourself. 
All right, so stop losing yourself and these other people. Stop losing that. The only person you need to validate is yourself. Now, not that you can't get validation from them, but you need to internally validate yourself first in all areas with your emotions, with your physical appearance, with your um, mental, you know, mental thoughts, with all that. This all comes internally. So listen to that mental chatter. Be, this is no judgment from me, okay? Don't judge yourself there either. Don't blame it. Just be honest with yourself. And if that's the case, start changing your assumptions. Start watching when you start doing that and change it into, I'm not changing for anybody. I don't have to conform to meet them, to fit into their needs. I'm not going to lose myself. This is who I am. I'm authentic. This is what's important to me. And they love this about me. All right, you guys, I intend this video was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe. If you want to work together, check out the description link below.